Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to compare stocks in the Weeble app. This works for both iPhone and Android. So let's get the Weeble app open. And also before I teach you how to do this, if you haven't actually gone live on Weeble yet, you haven't signed up, you can use my link in the description. If you sign up to Weeble and deposit $100 into your account, Weeble will give you a completely free stock valued up to 1400 bucks. So all you have to do is click on that link, deposit 100 bucks, and Weeble will give you a free stock. Once you've got your free stock, you can compare it to some others. And I guess I'll show you how to do that now. And first we need to go and find some stocks that we want to compare. So I'm just gonna click on the Apple stock page right now and this is how we're going to compare apple to some other stocks so find whatever stock that you want then come down to the more option in the bottom right hand corner press that and there's a couple of ways that you can compare stocks with weeble actually so the first one i'll go through is this dual charts feature so we'll click on that option and it will take us through to this page and remember we've got apple as one of the comparisons already because we've come through the apple stock page so we can choose another one if the stock isn't in your watch list already, then you can just search up at the top for it. So maybe you wanna search for Nvidia, you can either type in the name or the ticker, that comes up right there. So I'm gonna click on Nvidia and it's gonna take us through to the dual charts page. So we had Apple at the top and then Nvidia is the secondary stock that we're comparing it to. You can change this in a couple of ways. The first one is to change the date ranges. We're on the five day chart right now, but you can really easily press that, maybe move to a three month chart. And then you can see that there's a couple of icons come up on the charts. This is important news, things that happen with the stock. So if we press on the D uh, on Apple, you can see that there was a dividend of 82 cents and it went X dividend on that day. So that's really cool. If you press maybe on the S, that will be for a stock split. So Apple had a stock split this year, four for one. It shows you that information right there. And there's a couple of things on the Nvidia chart as well. We can go E here they put out their earnings on that day. So it's really cool to see when that happened with the two stocks. You can also change the type of chart down in the bottom. So we're on line charts right now. You can press that in the middle, change that to anything you want. So you can have a candlestick chart and it will change both of them, which is really cool. Go back to line chart if you want and it puts it back. Then you can also change the range for the price movements in the right hand corner. So we're on a one day right now because we're on a three month chart. So one day price movements is probably normal. You don't really have to change this unless you want to. If I go back to the three months and maybe change that to a five day chart, then you can see the price movements are in five minute increments because that would go well with a five day chart. Apart from that, anything you do on one of the charts also comes up on the other. So maybe I'm gonna pinch and zoom on the Apple chart to get a bit closer in on price movements. I can pinch and zoom. You can see that also pinch and zooms on the Nvidia chart as well. So it's just literally a mirror image two charts and they all do the same thing when you change one of them. So that's really cool. If you wanna swap out the secondary chart that you're comparing, so maybe instead of uh, comparing Nvidia, I wanna choose Microsoft. Just click this icon to the left of the name. It will come up with the search box. And then for example, I can press MSFT, which is the Microsoft ticker. Press Microsoft and it will swap out Nvidia for Microsoft in the bottom. But of course, everything else remains the same. That's a really cool and simple method of just seeing two stock charts together, which I think is really great. There is another option though. So I'm just gonna come out of this screen and also press cancel on this one. And we should go back to the Apple stock page right here. So let's just compare Apple using the versus function. Come down to the right hand side and press more again. We can see this comes up with the versus compare feature. We'll press versus compare and it takes us through to this page. So we've got Apple as the main stock that we're comparing. Then we can compare two stocks against it on the Apple stock chart. I'm just gonna choose Nvidia right here to keep it simple. You can also add another one. So if I go down and maybe choose Alphabet, which is Google, you've got three on there. If you make a mistake, you don't want Google on there or Alphabet on there, just press the tick to the side of it. It will put it back down into that watch list and you've got two there now. So Apple and Nvidia. I'm happy comparing those. So I'm gonna go through and press compare in the top right hand corner you'll see straight away that it switches you into landscape mode because where we are now essentially is the Apple chart and it's always in landscape mode, but we can see Apple in blue and then you've got the share price movements of Nvidia in orange. 
There's a couple of things we can do in this chart. The first is to change all of the date ranges. So we're in the uh, five day chart right now. We can switch over to daily and you can see on the right hand side, some technicals have come up. So in the five day chart, you can't use any technicals to look at the chart, but if you switch to daily, you can. So for example, I can put moving averages on there. I can also look at the MACD. Now this is in relation to Apple and not Nvidia because we're in the Apple stock chart. So Nvidia really is that orange line that you can see to compare to the price movements of Apple. So let's take moving averages and MACD away. The Apple stock chart is using a candlestick and the Nvidia stock chart is just that orange line chart. You can also choose the daily chart, for example, all of those technicals go and you just get the latest price movements and the prices that shares are trading at right now, which of course is probably more relevant if you're looking at the daily chart. So we'll go to weekly and we can actually make some drawings on the chart. Something kind of weird happens when you make drawings, so I'll show you how that goes. So for example, if I press the pencil icon up here and start drawing on the chart, you can see that the Nvidia stock charts has just been kicked away basically, it's not there. I don't know if that's a bug or if we will want this to happen to make it a bit more simple for you, but this is what happens. So I'm just gonna draw a trend line on this chart very roughly, uh, not trying to be accurate or anything, but let's say I've drawn this as a trend line on the chart and I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna have to do now if I wanna see the Nvidia chart is go back to this icon in the top right hand corner, press this and then go through to versus compare and it will take you through to this page. You can then find whatever stock that you wanna compare it to. I've got Nvidia down here cause it's one that I used recently, but if it's not there, you can just go to the symbol name search box, type in any stock that you want. So I'm gonna type in MSFT, press search, Microsoft's right there. So I can press the plus button and now I'll be comparing Apple against Microsoft. When you press compare though, you'll see that the drawings you made on the Apple chart are still there. So yeah, I don't know if that's like a bug or something, but this is essentially how you do it. So if I go back to the pencil, and then you can see the Microsoft charts been kicked off. Let me draw another trend line on there, maybe a longer one, so I'll just do that. And that's on there. Then I can go to that icon in the top right hand corner, also press versus compare again, go through to any stock. So I'll just press Nvidia on this one, press compare, and you'll see again, all my drawings are still there. And now we've got Nvidia as that orange line to compare it to. Other than that, there's a few things you can do. So if you go to that icon in the top right hand corner, you can actually take a screenshot of your comparisons and that will be saved onto your phone. So that might be something really useful that you wanna do. If you have any open positions in those stocks, you can press this one and then it will essentially put those on there for you. But as you can see, the comparison also goes away. And every time you want to compare, you have to go back into either versus, compare or the dual charts feature. As I said, if you haven't signed up for Webull yet, you can use my link in the description. And when you deposit only $100 in your account, Webull will give you a completely free stock. So you can check out that link and more about Webull in the description below. But anyway, that's really a couple of ways to compare stocks on Webull. If the video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.